Testing one, two. Testing one, two, three. Welcome back, everyone. This is Shane. Picking up where we left off, um, we had created a list of bills here um, with their values, and then we added those bills up using a simple formula. Um, and then I assigned some homework, and what I'd ask you to do is list out 10 bills that you have, uh, plug in their amounts you pay each month, and then let's add those up down here at the bottom. Um, well, if you were following my instructions uh, from the from the last video, you know that we can easily plug in a formula by using equals, then clicking on the amounts, followed by the plus sign. So just plus, 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 I could do that, and that would work. Let's just go ahead and finish it out, so I'll show you. Plus that, plus insurance, plus Netflix, plus cable. But notice how long that formula is, and that was very complicated to do all that clicking. But I can enter it, and as you'll see, they add up to 1685.02. That worked, but there's a much easier way. Whenever you need to add up large, uh, large amounts of, of numbers um, there's a much easier way and we're going to start with the equal sign and now I'm going to type in sum and notice when I type in sum we see this list pop up well this list is showing us all the available functions and this is what we call a function these are all the available functions in Google spreadsheet to allow you to summarize uh, now we're just going to do a very basic sum and if you notice here, the comment says sum of a series of numbers and or cells. So I'm going to click that. And notice what happens now. It's kind of giving us a, a template of how to fill this, this function out. So notice at the top we can put a value 1, comma, value 2. Um, but we can also use a range. And that's what this section here is. This is a range. It's saying from A2 to A100. What does that mean? Well, it's just it's much easier just to show you. So let's click back down here and now with the sum and open parentheses I'm going to close this. I'll go back up. Let me press F2 to come back in here. And now with my cursor there between I'm going to highlight holding the mouse button down as I drag across my 10 numbers. Notice what it's doing down here. It's actually creating my range for me. So now when I press enter, we get our same total. But if you look at the formula bar, and by the way, this is what this section is right above the column headings. This is what we call the formula bar. Uh, it's telling us that this cell here, B, B17, equals the sum of B4 through B13. And when we press enter, we get our total. So a much easier way to add numbers up. Now, before we move on uh, to, new, to new material, let's clean this up a little bit. Um, notice that our column heading uh, is left justified and our numbers are right justified. Well, that's just automatic in, a, in the default spreadsheet. So I can come up here and let's just click on the amount heading and let's come up to our toolbar and see what options we have. Um, if you notice right here, if I click this drop down arrow, we see left justified, left alignment, center alignment, and right alignment. Well, what am I trying to do here? I want to right align this cell. So by clicking the right alignment, it automatically moves amount over uh, the actual amount so that it makes it look neater and nicer. Also because these are column headings uh, let's make these stand out a little bit. Let's let's make them bold and again in our toolbar click bold and let's also um, let's change the background of this as well. So let's go to our fill color and let's go in here and let's just choose I don't know that's, that's light CN1 let's choose that Okay. 
Uh, we could also choose change the text color itself. Let's make that a lighter color so it kind of stands out. There we go. That kind of looks good. And uh, let's do the same for total. Now notice I could repeat those same steps for these two cells, but there's an easier solution. I can actually come up here and select these two cells because I want to copy the format of these two cells. Guess what? We have a special tool called Paint Format. By clicking on that, and notice it puts a little marquee around the cells that I highlighted. Now all I have to do is click on the cells I want to apply this to and look at there, it automatically applies the same formatting. So now we have a much cleaner looking um, a presentation. Okay, now let's center, let's take our homework heading and let's center this across two cells. Well, how do we do that? Well, there's a special feature in our toolbar. And again, I'm going to highlight the two cells. And now I'm going to come up here to this button. It's called Merge Cells. When I click Merge Cells, it actually combines the two into one. So notice if I tab away or use my arrow keys and move away, notice what happens when my cell pointer goes left one more. It highlights these two cells that once were before, now they're one, and so it highlights. So now with, those, with it highlighted, I can come up here to my alignment tool and I can center this. And it centers them between the two columns. And let's make this stand out as well. Let's change this background to black uh-oh, our font disappeared. Well, let's change our font color to white. And let's make this bold. And let's also make this a little bit bigger. Let's bump that up to 14. There we go. So now we've cleaned up our homework quite nicely. Okay, one last thing before we go. Notice that our amounts here, most of them are rounded off to the whole number, but we do have a few in here where we have uh, decimal places. Well, let's, because we're talking about money, let's convert these amounts to money. I'm going to highlight every single amount, come up to my toolbar, and we have a special symbol here called Format as Currency. We'll click that, and that easily we've converted our numbers to dollars. Also notice that our total also converted while maintaining the background color as well as the different font color. So now we got it looking really good. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. In our next video, we're going to we're going to go into some new content, uh, learn some new things, but we're also going to start a project. We're going to start a home budget project. You know, why not learn this new tool uh, at the same time we're trying to accomplish a goal? And our goal is going to be to create a, a simple, a very simple home budget. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Testing one two. Testing one two three.